Welcome to this month's new product release report. Hey everyone, Rahel Tuodi here, and I'm about to kick off August 2020's new release report. Let's start by taking a look at Infusionsoft. We've got good news for our power users. Campaign Builder now provides the ability to remove a user from a campaign with Remove From sequence. There's also improvements to tasks. Now, Infusionsoft users can complete a task with multiple outcomes instead of just yes or no, and have each outcome trigger a new sequence. So what else is on the docket for Infusionsoft users? Well, we've heard from a few of you that you've been timed out of Infusionsoft while exporting large contact lists, which sounds super frustrating. So we fixed it. Starting this month, our updates to Infusionsoft will allow users to easily and reliably export massive amounts of data without worrying about losing your connection. Keep just got some exciting and powerful updates. First up, and it's a big one, easy automations. Campaign Builder is an amazing way to build powerful automations, but if you need to simply get a quick automation out the door or you've been hesitant to try automation building, we're excited to announce Keep Easy Automations, the absolute easiest way to build powerful automations even if you're a beginner. Stay tuned, the details are going to blow your mind. Blow your mind! <laughs> And finally, for Keep, we'll be showing you our new custom lead forms allowing for next level engagement and data capture. Well, we're about to get rolling, but first, how about a quick recap on last month's releases? Now, we're gonna kick it over to Grady for a rundown on this month's features. Grady? Thanks, Rahel. I'm super excited about the updates that are coming this month. And one of the big updates was to Infusionsoft. Whenever you complete a task in Infusionsoft, you probably want to have some sort of follow-up, but sometimes the follow-up you need is different depending on how the task was completed. I've got this campaign here for my web forms. Whenever someone fills out my web form, I have it set up that if I had them fill out the web form, they get an email and I get a task to follow up. In my follow-up task, I give them a call and there's all kinds of options that could occur. When I complete this task, I could schedule a consultation or they might ask for follow up later. I might leave them a voicemail or they might just say they're just not interested. Based on the outcome that I get on my task, I've got four different ways to follow up. So if I get someone and they schedule a consultation based on my phone call, I can set up this goal to be able to be customized to say when that is completed with the consultation scheduled, then I'm going to follow up with a consultation email. I'll now have an email that automatically follows up and thanks them for scheduling and gives them some action items to make sure that our consultation is as effective as possible. Now for my last option of a task outcome, I get those people that are not interested and that actually leads us to our next amazing feature. Now in Q2 this year, we had a great new addition to the campaign builder where we can go into a sequence and we can add someone to a different sequence when they hit this point. So for example here, if someone's not interested, I'm going to throw them over to my list hygiene campaign and I'm going to remove them. In the past, we used to use tag switching to move people back and forth around campaigns, but this new feature is amazing. It allows you to just move a contact over to the sequence that they need to be inside of. But a great new feature allows us to keep our sequences a lot cleaner. Now when I add somebody over to a sequence in a different campaign, I have the option to remove contacts from the current sequence. That way, the only people that are in the sequence are those who are actively making progress. All these tasks that have resulted in somebody not being interested in, my list hygiene campaign has been adding them to a saved search of all these people that I need to export for my system. They're not really active right now, but I don't want to get rid of them, so I'm going to export them all. Now because I've got a list of a thousand here, I've had to sit in the past and wait for that export to be completed and sometimes I get logged out before it's even done. We've got a great brand new feature for you guys that have big lists that you need to export. When I select a list over a thousand and then try to export those, and once I get to the bottom I add my email and I click on export. And now what happens in the background is Infusionsoft will take care of the export and once it's done, it will email me the results so I can download the document and now I can get back to work. I'm super excited about what's now available for all of our customers using Keep. Easy Automations even comes preloaded with some of our most common asks. Things like scheduling a free consultation or asking for customer reviews. And it uses common language, so when a lead form is submitted, then send an email out. 
and I can even customize the email to include my booking link. Turn on that handsome signature. And that's it. Now once I publish this, it's ready to go. Whenever someone fills up my lead form, they automatically get an email with my booking link asking them to book an appointment. You can even customize the kind of easy automations you want to create based on when a lead form is submitted or appointment scheduled or tag is added or when a purchase has been made. Then we can choose how to follow up with an email, give us a notification, apply a tag to that contact or create a task for us to follow up. Speaking of lead forms, they're getting an update. Now, lead forms allow you to customize what information you're asking for. Not only can you customize your business name and your logo, now I can edit my form to capture whatever I like. For example, if I want to add on here the square footage of the area that someone is doing their installation, I can ask for that and throw it right here on my form. And I get to change the button text for my call to action. Instead of asking them to submit, I'm going to ask them to contact us. I'll save and publish that. And there we are, customized lead forms. That was plenty of important information, but how about a fun fact to cleanse the palate? On the TV show Golden Girls, B. Arthur played the daughter of Estelle Getty, even though B. Arthur was a year older than Getty in real life. Some of us have been binging a lot of classic TV lately. Keep it golden, people. <laughs> you guys, I'm a total door. I cannot believe that I'm doing this. Before we go, here's a couple of hints of what to expect in September field merging, and business calendar timers. Sorry, no more hints until release time. Thank you for watching August's release report. We can't wait to talk to you again next month for a whole new batch of upgrades and improvements to keep Infusionsoft and hopefully your business. See you next time.